Stage five. Hi. <laughs> Still Ch alive. <laughs> Chili all kitted out. But look at this. We're heading to that village. All the vineyards. What is Spanish for vineyards? Vineyarda. <laughs> um, Isn't this a lovely way to spend the morning? It certainly is. So we stop yeah, for breakfast. Have tortilla. Every, every all the cafes they serve tortilla. Um, various uh, recipes. Oh, and we know that we're tortilla seems to be the traditional stop stop for breakfast. It's about well, actually, I don't know. I've completely lost track of time. At whatever time it is. Always stop. Walk for walk for about an hour. And then stop for a tortilla and coffee. And we, we stayed in an auberge last night. And we were in a room with uh, two bunk beds. And Mike and I <laughs> were both on the top of each bunk bed because the people before had got their bottom bunks. And I don't think I've ever, ever sat on top of a bunk bed before. There we are, a first. <laughs> it's quite fun <laughs> watching you getting into a bunk bed, I must admit. <laughs> I've never seen, having said that, when I climbed in, I realised they are meant for children, they're not meant for adults, they're not adult bump birds. It was quite alarming, uh, but uh, managed to sleep. And people are very friendly, they, they, uh, they really respect you if you're a pilgrim, a greeno. Really Except for the French women who seem to want to talk all night, which is very annoying. And Jill's walking by the vineyard, look at this. But honestly, is there a better way to spend the uh, to be, to spend the morning? I don't even know what day it is. Saturday, I'm pretty sure Saturday, it's Saturday. It? Okay. So what were we talking about? We were talking about... Talking you know, about spreading love and light and how even just a small gesture can bring light to people's people's lives and you have no concept of how that flows radiates from you and how it how it uh how it potentially could even come back to you an act of kindness act of kindness yeah. i must admit our conversation was a tad more intellectual than it's coming across now <laughs> but um we went through the uh we went through the whole spectrum of considering whether or not you know it's uh one does that in order to hope that one is treated the same going forward. Which is not unreasonable, but it's not unreasonable to question one's self-motive, is it? To do with trying to bring love and light to other people's lives, or you're just trying to look after yourself in the long run. And maybe those sort of conversations aren't necessary, but it's nice to intellectualise them and think them through I think we're going to know it all by the end of this holiday or this, this pilgrimage I don't know if you call this a holiday it's, uh, well I'm rather hoping that by tomorrow I think we will call it a holiday yeah. you know why wouldn't you call this a holiday this is ridiculously yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful and exactly what one thinks of being the Camino mm -hmm. of course the bits that we're not videoing are the steep hills that we come across. We can't speak. <laughs> Where in actual fact speaking is is more difficult. But you know these are uh, these little trials. Ooh, come to the crossroads. Should we go the path left travels or in actual fact the path of least resistance? I mean crying out loud, this is meditation type yeah, of little... we go this way. Yes. We follow yes. the Camino the arrows. Camino route. <laughs> but I must admit, the path is slimming out a little bit. Not the path physically. The actual number of um, pilgrims on the path thins out a little bit. I don't know whether people fall away or whether there is... There's certainly a, a, a slight drop in enthusiasm because on the second day everybody says... One Camino to you as they pass you, and for us, of course, that's everybody. Um, but uh, all of a sudden, you settle into a smile. It's not quite so enthusiastic, would you say, darling? No, it loses it, 
and it's a little bit thinner. But I think that's one thing we do. That's one thing we are sort of grasping, isn't it? With isn't it? Because we know that a stage, stage, stage is twenty-two kilometres long, and it's very easy to put on your boots and think, "Oh my God, that's a hell of a, that's a hell of a track." But it's actually hope just being able to stay present, and then. Um, and just enjoy each one and that's I think what we're beginning to learn is that it doesn't really matter how long that journey is because it's never going to be too long so even if it took us 12 hours to do 22 kilometers which we never would we'd still be there in good time for dinner and things like that it's an interesting mental concept isn't it it's not easy to grasp You still are on video. I was looking at that, that olive grove there. Anyway, we've kind of gone on too much. Bueno camino. Bueno camino.